Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Let's Play of Stellaris Galactic Paragons. You might be wondering why did First Contact stop all of a sudden. It's because, well, they already released a new DLC. So we're going to actually just jump to Galactic Paragons. Um, I'm not going to be releasing the rest of the First Contact episodes I had recorded just because none of them really ever got to um, an end of sorts. So it's not it's not too bad. But we are going to do Galactic Paragons. They've done a massive overhaul of government and civics and leaders, and it's kind of crazy. Um, so let's just go through our species really quickly. The Holy Athalon Covenant. Um, this is the this is what I chose for the portrait. Um, that's a species, names, traits. <clears throat> I had to. <coughs> I had to take perfected genes because of my origin, which is fine, actually. Um, and then I also took incubators as well for the population, I guess, bal sort of balance, sort of balance. Um, I am doing Tundra for my, for my planet of choice. City appearance is Athropod. Under one rule. Um, you have to have dictatorial authority. That's fine. Not necessarily really that bad. Um, and then you obviously get... You get to have some interesting um, ruler traits based on empire ethics. For government, I went uh, fanatic spiritualist and authoritarian. Um, and I chose vaults of knowledge, which, as you can see... Uh, now it actually, some of it actually matters. You get, you get stuff unlocked at council, uh, which is kind of actually pretty cool in all honesty. Um, Vaults of Knowledge, it looks like it'll be good. And honestly, I think that's probably what we're going to want anyway. Um, because it would allow, it would allow my leaders to pass down their knowledge, which is good. Um, and then I took Exalted Priesthood because I am just going to say that the church has gone crazy. I don't know. Advisor Voice, Spiritualist, Empire Name, Holy Athalon, Covenant. This is the flag. That's what it populated. Arthropod ships. Um, and then this is the kind of the new part of... Stellaris that got added in you now get to choose your ruler traits early on Which is kind of cool. I am having this leader be a governor, which is fine. I'm not really too worried about it um, Does it say do are any of these obviously I can't pick any of these but that's fine We're fine. Um, I just chose pious aesthetic. I could have probably chosen I don't know. I could have chosen Brutal, I guess, but I didn't really feel like it. Cause, and the only reason I would choose Brutal is to get additional traits there. So, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get started on our playthrough. Um, and then we'll bump this up to Ensign, just for the normal playthrough. Um, max galaxy size, we're actually going to do spoked for our galaxy shape. Uh, AI empires can be anywhere from 15 to 30. Advanced AI starts are off. Fallen empires, max, um, between 2 to 5. Marauder empires between 1 to 3. We will randomize those. Um, crisis type will be random, that's fine. And yeah, that all looks good, actually. So let's get started. Now, based on how this does, this will probably be the last Stellar's playthrough I do for a little bit. Because I actually do want to get into Let's Play in some story-based games. Uh, and I'm kind of caught in between either Atomic Heart or maybe um, start the whole Final Fantasy numbered series playthrough. Uh, anyway, under one rule. A civilization has always been prone to conflict. Empires and kingdoms rose, but never lasted. 
always collapsing under the pressure of internal strife. The culture of polarization climaxed when our world was consumed by war. Amidst chaos, a leader emerged. The matriarch Bektuvak managed to assemble a gathering of followers who were drawn to her selflessness, charisma, and authority. Finally, someone who someone was poised to unite us. The unification was a long and painful process. But one after another, the warring factions eventually surrendered and fell in line, cowed by the matriarch's promises of a future amidst the stars. For the first time in centuries, we have peace, but under the surface, the scars of old grievances run deep. And so, we actually only have like one scientist now, which is kind of interesting. We have a pending trait pick. So we're going to either choose Romer, which will increase our science ship's Survey speed, which is tempting. Uh, we can choose venerated, which will just give us free monthly unity, also tempting. And adaptable, um, which would give us later experience gain. I think I want my science, like my science ships to roam a bit more. So that's what I'm going to pick for that. Um, you do get to pick the traits, which is kind of nice. Also, the, there's these new toast messages that kind of just <laughs> pop up. Um... Yeah, so we're going to choose Administrative AI, Planetary Unification, and Nanomachines, actually, Biodiversity Studies. And so, this is going to be the head of our research. Um, as you can see, obviously, things have changed a little bit. Um, fortunately, our head of research gets 2% research speed overall based on everything you no longer will need you won't necessarily need a uh, scientist well I mean you'll need a scientist but you you can uh, investigate anomalies and we can start that actually it's nice that you can they've updated that um, because now it's like, it's a totally automated science ship, um, which is great. I could have them excavate archaeology sites, but I don't want to. I just want them to do this. But if you go into your leaders screen, um, which is, it's under government. So as you can see, we have a minister of defense. We have a matriarch. We get to choose something else as well um deep connections is definitely tempting and i think we do take it so we've already decided our head of research now the minister of defense we will choose Ooh, that is good actually entrepreneur two um, we don't need that, we don't really need that, but having the free consumer goods is amazing. So as you can see, your leaders are actually going to be pretty strong. Um, once we can expand the council, we get up to five leaders. I think you can get more than that, technically. Um, but we'll see. And then we can look at our edicts and we'll be able to actually take all three of these because our edicts fund is so high thanks to our ruler um slavery is fine robotic wor workers outlawed population controls we're gonna actually prohibit those initial border stats we want closed because we don't trust anyone else i do like cautious allowed and we'll allow that We'll definitely do oppressive vassalage um, and then species I actually want to set the default rights to full citizenship we allow everyone um, and full military service that should be fine as you can see the HUD is actually considerably smaller which is kind of nice um, also, I can't show it yet. I'll have to wait till we actually start playing. Oh, and here we go, Governor. Um,
Let's do environmental engineer. So it does look like you still have governors as well. And it looks like the vaults of knowledge are already here. So that's pretty good. So they give additional unity, which is pretty great. And we have learned that we may not be alone out there. Construction complete. So there is an empire limit of one for Vaults of Knowledge. That's fine. It's already on our capital. We don't necessarily need to worry about it. I'm not too worried about it, actually. Let's see what is wise to be cautious. Uh, this shows the leader capacity, by the way. Available envoys are two. They don't really count towards your leaders, which is nice. Um, and we have two governors. So right now our maximum seems to be six. Envoys, fortunately, don't count towards your leaders. But as you can see, things have changed a lot here in Solaris. Um, but some things never change. Situation log updated. And that thing that never changes is we need science ships. Uh, okay, so now that we can show it, they did add some. No, they. Uh, yeah, no, they did. They added some. Um, some additional traditions, which is kind of nice. It kind of shakes things up. So they added an aptitude, which uh, seems to make your leaders better. And statecraft, which allows you to have more, more leaders. And then you also gain galactic administration, which is kind of cool. This gives flat edicts funds, which is actually pretty nice. Um, however, we are going to probably, <clears throat> these are some things, that... these are things I don't necessarily need immediately. And discovery, agenda available. the unifying promise, internal affairs. Oh, okay. So the unifying promise. Yeah, uh, we'll basically get more. More stuff based on what we decide to do. More points. Um, we're doing internal affairs, which is fine. Government, we are going to go to edicts. And we actually can't afford any of them right now, so we'll just wait. And it looks like our fleet size is already able to be increased, which is good. But let's go ahead and go to edicts. Complete. We can actually choose all of these, which is great. Oh, I see. So I actually do need to hire new leaders. System survey complete. I don't need research speed. Leaders are really expensive. There. We're fine though because of our high construction complete. 
But we are at our max leaders now, so we cannot we cannot necessarily have any more without suffering some penalties. Um, and actually, I need to go ahead and set them up to do all that. Now we'll go ahead and build right here. Our influence is allegedly lower, but honestly, we're fine because of our counselor traits. And it looks like skill level max is 10, which is great. Ship fire rate. Okay, so that's probably why we're at 170. And we found the Grunier, which is... It's fine, actually. We are doing fine. Now, what we probably are going to want... Situation log updated. We've already... Construction complete. Okay, so that means that someone's already really close to us. Then for this, we can actually go another construction ship. Blocker cleared. I do like that our leaders are like. Ready. Um. So pause. So we have a council agenda. So let's do chart the unknown actually. Like I am setting this agenda, but Infinite opportunities. Ah, I see. Blocker cleared. It's because we already had something queued up, that's why. That makes a lot more sense. System survey complete. <laughs> Special project complete. And that got us this System frigate. Survey complete. Fortunately, they can move, which is great. Blocker cleared. And because we may or may not be like limited to this area, uh, we want to go ahead and start on this. So our current progress is seven, which is good. I think we go ahead and take research station. I 
We'll send the notes back. Honestly, I'm a little surprised that we have someone right here. Construction complete. Okay, so yeah, we are indeed trapped in this little corner. So we might need to be slightly aggressive to get out of it. System survey complete. Interesting that they are actually so close, and it's a lithoid actually. Well, oh, and also, here's the cool thing so we can actually make armies now from, from our star bases, which is honestly much needed. I hated actually having to go into. Each, uh, I hated having to go into each different, um, planet to make my armies. It's nice that you can literally just make the armies. It's completely fine. So, we are, it's unfortunate that we are now, that we're somehow, like, trapped in this little area. That there's, what? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We get nine systems to start with, which is, and I'm going to choose that because we're not going to be able to get out of our, this little area for a while anyway, so. I think it's fine. Construction complete. Anomaly found. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Um, yeah, we're going to need our miners to actually be really good, so... The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We're going to also need our farmers to be pretty good. Construction complete. System survey complete. We are spreading our faith to a new world. So fortunately we are going to be able to get our three worlds, which is well needed. Construction complete. Thank you. 
So the leader pool is refreshed. Let's see if there's anyone we necessarily want. I don't really think so. System survey complete. I think we're okay. We are actually blowing through this first unity tree pretty quickly. I definitely need researchers. Construction complete. Okay, we're lacking the influence, which is fine. System survey complete. I will say it is nice that we only have like one head of research. Construction complete. It's slightly less than we needed. Like, it's too less than we actually need that we'll need to replace at a point. All right, so we can go research labs here. <coughs> Situation log updated. I mean, we might as well actually examine the logs. <coughs> Who knows? We might actually get like the rubricator inside our system. Construction complete. Construction complete. If I were to guess, the Rubricator's probably somewhere... Like, it's probably right here, actually. Special yeah. project complete. Situation log updated. Um, that actually did not put anything near us. I think I put it here. So the Rubricator's in their area, which is... Fine. System survey complete. Alright, let's go ahead and assist research. Construction complete. Let's 
do. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We're gonna take Fenrated. Um, since we're gonna probably want to be on the offensive. Ah, that's where we put the rubricator. Up here. The faithful have claimed a new world. Construction complete. The mm. spirits have granted us new wisdom. Uh, yeah, we definitely want that. And now, I hate to do it this early, but we do want this upgraded. One vision is surely more powerful. No, it's not. But we will take technological ascendancy. Just for the flat research speed. You can auto pick traits, but I don't think that would. I don't think that'll be necessary or even ideal. We are spreading our faith to a new world. <laughs> Construction complete. So the monument was good. <clears throat> Construction complete. I was gonna say we'll definitely assign the the spy. And we can actually change our policies to be belligerent. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I think we definitely take the additional UND. I'm gonna go ahead and wait temporarily.
Construction complete. All right, here we go. I actually can just dismiss these leaders. And it's good that I can because I need to get more governors. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Might as well investigate the mysterious moon. Um, I can disband this actually. Construction complete. So I've got two more and then everything else can just be claims at that at that point. Go ahead and build that there. Don't think construction complete. I guess maybe I just want to assist research on this. That is the one thing that would make sense. Come on. I just need the 10 months to go by. I'm definitely going to be picking... Well... The faithful have claimed a new world. I don't know if I want any yielding or if I want supremacy. I feel like I want to... I want them to attack, so maybe I want unyielding. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. So that's the blue laser. We definitely need our technicians to be really good. Wow. 
Construction complete. Ah, okay, so they are going to attempt to attack us, which is nice. What they don't know is, like, they'll probably lose. Once I get my unyielding, they're definitely going to lose. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. And now we have those. Um, let's go for armor. And yeah, I think we just pick on yielding. Unless I was like, unless on yielding's council agenda available. Okay, so what does that get? Oh, okay, impenetrable border. That's pretty good, actually. Special project complete. Uh, cool, so we just get dark matter, right? Oh no, we don't get it quite yet. So, definitely Hainer Bays. And. Disruption Field Generators. Construction complete. There, we get four of each. I think what I'll probably do is get construction complete. Let's probably get a temple. I'll go ahead and stockpile alloys right now, actually. Monthly minerals plus eight is actually kind of insane.
There. Construction complete. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Um, we'll take this actually because the worker pop resource output would be good. And then for this, we could either do more research labs, which I think we might go ahead and do. Yeah, I think it's better just to get more research labs. In order for us to break stuff, we want to get more tech. But we're actually going to stop here on this episode. If you guys are enjoying Galactic Paragon, or Stellaris Galactic Paragons, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Always helps me out. And uh, let me know in the comment section if there's a game that you absolutely want me to play. And that way, you know, I can start focusing on what my next Let's Play is going to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys later, and goodbye.